What's up guys, it's Nopix here. Today I'll be showing you a tips and tricks guide for beginners just starting out. Uh, the first kind of few tips are located in the safe houses around the map. Each one you'll find a different uh, map inside or a situation board. You can read this map and it will load in extra missions into your game. Um, also located in the safe house are multiple vendors. I'll explain what each one does in this map. Um, here you see the situation board and gave you a new um, side mission. It gives you security, supplies, as well as money, and it can also give you uh, recipes for things we'll learn later in the video. Uh, another vendor is a side quest vendor. Um, this one's called Request Situations Report. Uh, once requested, this vendor will load uh, side missions into your map, and you can complete these for XP, gear, and uh, more. Side missions are crucial to your game's success. Um, as you're working in each portion of the map, they'll allow you to gain the XP needed to progress to the next main mission, the main storyline mission. Uh, next we have gear vendors. A gear vendor will sell you random pieces of gear. Uh, they also work on a timer. If you look at the top left, they uh, every 24 hours rotate their gear out. So uh, it's random, random, and the price I believe is also random. Uh, one of the things you'll never want to do is sell your items to a gear vendor. Uh, you want to keep these items and uh, deconstruct them. Uh, deconstructing gives you materials out of those items. Those materials can be uh, used in the crafting table. You can use that to craft gear um, and the lower level m materials that you have they can be upgraded to the higher end ones um, so you can go all the way up from the lowest level material to the highest level material uh, and as I mentioned before the materials that you get in this will need a, a recipe to complete you can get those doing the side and extra missions in the game Uh, another neat feature that's in the safe houses is fast travel. Once you've been to a safe house, you can fast travel back there. This is fantastic for getting around the map quick. Um, here I show you how to fast travel. You just click on the, um, the house, hit X to fast travel, and then hit A to complete it. Uh, if you've never been to a safe house, you have to walk there once to um, unlock the safe house, and then you can fast travel there. Last but certainly not least is uh, always restock your ammo when you're leaving the safe house. All right, moving out of the safe house and in the streets, uh, the next portion of this video will be about uh, tactical movement, enemy locations, and recoil control in the game. Um, you you will need to hide uh, behind cover in most gunfights in this game. It is a uh, tactical third-person shooter, uh, so it, it is crucial that there's a good movement control for that. Uh, I see a lot of people jumping up and sprinting from cover to cover, but they have a very nifty uh, auto duck and cover feature. Um, if you're behind cover already by holding the A button, uh, you can select another piece of cover and hold the A button and your character will automatically duck and run to that location. This is very, very handy for when you're in gunfights and you don't need to pop up so the enemy can see you. You'll also uh, tumble over objects with this feature, so it's very, very handy. Uh, next, we'll be moving on to uh, when you get into gunfights, you'll need to know where your enemy is. Uh, at the top left-hand corner, whenever an enemy is shown, it will uh, flash red in his location, so you can use that to track your enemies down. Last but certainly, oh, I forgot about this portion. Uh, you can use your uh, health pack as an aim and shoot ability instead of just an auto on yourself. So um, if you hold the button down to trigger it, it will shoot at the location so you can heal your teammates and yourself. Last but certainly not least is recoil management. Recoil is a very, very real thing in this game, and you'll need to know, you'll need to know how to manage it with each gun's recoil. Uh, one of the simplest ways I can tell you how to do this is pop shot or selective fire. Uh, basically, you use your automatic weapon as a, a pistol. You just pop 
pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, and let go before uh, your recoil gets too high. Usually it ends up around the head, and that's very good for you uh, because the headshot has a damage multiplier. So uh, just like you would your pistol, you can use it there, um, and that's about it. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe. I uh, hope it helps you level up in the game. See you in the next video.